Here's my quick guide to how to graduate undergrad college one year early. Step one, credits and units. My school was Occidental College located in Los Angeles, California, but almost all colleges I've heard of use some sort of units or credit system. In order to graduate, you need a certain amount. Most of the time, the school will set it up so that you have enough credits to graduate by taking a normal amount of classes each year. So in order to graduate early, you have to either take extra classes or transfer eligible credits. I was lucky enough to have taken enough AP classes in high school to have one year's worth of credits coming in. What I didn't know at first is that you actually have to take a few steps to validate those credits. So if you think you might have eligible transfer credits, make sure you ask your counselor or do your research to find out how to add them. If you don't have any eligible credits to transfer, you have to make up for it using the summers or by stacking on extra classes. Step 2. Exemptions. Most colleges also have required general education credits, sometimes called GEs. You basically have to take classes outside of your major to fulfill basic educational standards like writing, history, science, math, and so on. One thing that most colleges offer are exemption tests that can help fulfill certain GEs or prerequisite classes that you have to take before the more advanced ones. I wouldn't have actually been able to graduate one year early if I didn't pass the Japanese exemption test, fulfilling my language requirement. Make sure you check with your counselor because exemptions aren't exactly common knowledge. I actually stumbled upon the test by accident because I just happened to walk by a friend and he told me about it. Step 3. Major and Minor Requirements This step is definitely the toughest one. I didn't know I was going to graduate early until my second year's first semester ended. It was a stroke of luck that I so happened to transfer my credits and take the right exemption test. But when I thought about the possibility of saving lots of money and being free from school a year early, it excited me enough to make a plan, charting out every single class that I would have to take to make it work. So what I did was look at every single class I needed to take to fulfill my physics major requirements. I charted out my next three semesters and then realized that a lot of the requirements match up with the math minor requirements and then planned to add those classes and then realized that a lot of the CS minor requirements match the math minor requirements, and then added those classes to my plan. All of it was pure chance, and I had no grand plan when I entered college. Of course, it wasn't exactly a cakewalk. I had to take an extra class in both semesters of my second year. Luckily, I was already taking an extra class when I made the plan. And then I had to take two extra classes for both semesters of my third and final year. So really make sure that you're willing to commit to a lot of work before engaging in a plan like this. Step 4. Professors Another piece of the puzzle was the professors. There were certain classes that I was not supposed to take as a third year, or classes that I technically didn't fulfill the prerequisites for because I was taking it at the same time. Luckily, they were more like level-based prerequisites rather than comprehensive ones, so I managed to talk to a couple different professors and my counselor to grant me permission to take those classes. Without that, I would definitely not have been able to graduate early. So make sure you show your professors that you're serious about it and make the effort to really push for what you want. Step 5. Execution I've heard plenty of people tell me before that they can graduate early, but they just chose not to. And I can fully understand why they would choose not to. It requires a lot of work. Classes practically every weekday, endless homework and studying, and a lot of planning. I was lucky enough to balance all of it with working at the school, clubs, hanging out, and still enjoying the challenge because of the way I think. But just know that if you choose to execute on this plan, you have to be very organized and focused. It's always good to have a goal in your mind too. Mine's was to graduate early so I can do my own thing sooner. Also, my school costs like crazy a lot per year, so I technically save that amount if you disregard financial aid and scholarships, which are lifesavers. So yeah, step five was just a long-winded way of saying, it's gonna be a lot of work, so stay focused and organized throughout all of it. Anyways, I hope you find this video useful. If so, consider sharing it with someone else who might also want to graduate college a little bit early. Thanks for watching and good luck.